फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फॉर्म डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सरफेस इन विच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द शेप और द सॉलिड अ सिलेंडर डायमीटर ऑफ बेस 50 एंड हाइट 75 फाइव रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी एंड इट इज कट बाई ए आई पी बाइसेकटिंग द एक्सेस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू ड्रॉ अ फ्रंट व्यू एंड अ टॉप व्यू ऑफ अवर सॉलिड सो द सॉलिड हैज अ डायमीटर ऑफ फिफ्टी एम एम एंड हाइट इज सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम so the top view of the cylinder is a circle so first of all we are going to construct a circle with the diameter of 50 mm at here like this now uh we are going to divide this circle into some number of parts let's say eight equal parts you can divide it in any number of parts let's say 12 equal parts or four even equal parts but uh, this eight equal parts is a optimum number so you have to divide this into eight equal parts by 45 degree each now gives name uh, name to them because it's a cylinder so you have you can see two uh, circles uh, one at a top and one at a bottom so you have to write down two uh, names over here one for the top and one for the bottom so let's start with the a b c d e f g and h so this is for bottom surface and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and o this is for top surface now you have to project all the lines and draw the front view as a rectangle because it's resting on hp then you uh, this is your position like this the height of the front view is 75 mm is 75 mm so just draw a line of 75 mm height like this and complete the rectangle give names to them bottom part is uh, label as a b c d and the top part is written as a 1 2 3 4 so this point is a d s b d s h d s c d s g d s this is d d s f d s and this is e d s and uh, the top portion you have to write as a 1234 1dash this is 2dash 8dash this is 3dash 7dash 4dash 6dash and 5dash so our initial position or we can say the front view and top view solid is complete now you have to draw by uh, uh, sectional part aip 
uh, it is cut by AIP bisecting auxiliary inclined plane bisecting the axis so this is the axis so it's bisecting the axis and making an angle of 45 degree with HP so uh, the position of your cutting plane is like this and at the center of this line so you have to measure the center of this line at uh, 75 so we can uh, calculate it as well but uh, I'm going to do this method because we need a reference line as well for to draw a 45 degree angle So this is the center of uh, the axis now you have to measure an angle of 45 degree from that center like this so this is the 45 and draw a sectional line which is thick at ends and you have to write like this because you are going to remove the material of upper part so this material will be removed so you have to write s s this here so this is your sectional part so this angle is 45 degree and this is the bisection now you have to develop this solid development means you have to open the solid after uh, uh, closing and welding from the one surface or joining with the other uh, method you can get a solid which is divided at for, from the center at an angle of 45 so this is our objective so for that you have to divide uh, you have to develop a solid beside this so this is your reference line on this line only you have to draw uh, uh, this development so the point of sectional uh, is transferred very easily so i'll just ma uh, mark a points of sectional points yeah in this case you don't need to draw a sectional top view because we are not interested in the sectional part we are interested in the development of the surface to develop the surface you need this section so don't need uh, you don't need to draw a sectional top view so this edges or this generator is going to be cut so this is one dash 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, this is 6 dash, 7, 8, okay, so these are the points, so you have to transfer all the points here, so let's start, so the development means you have to open the surface, so cylinder, uh, if you open the cylinder, it will look like a, uh, this rectangle, and the dimensions of this rectangle is pi d and height is a height of uh, this axis which is 75 in this case so you have to construct a rectangle with this dimension pi d into 7 uh, by 75 so uh, if we are considering 3.14 into uh, d is a 50 mm uh, so 157 is our length and height will be 75 mm So 157 that means 15.7 centimeter line from here like this and uh, you have to draw a height of 75. initially just draw a line uh, with the very smooth lines because uh, at the end you have to construct a thick lines so uh, at that time uh, your lines will be overlap so for that reason just draw a thin lines first and complete your rectangle of the cylinder which is development of your cylinder 
सो दिस इज योर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सिलेंडर बट वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप अ सिलेंडर विच इज कटेड ओके सो दिस लेंथ इज अ पाईडी सो यू हैव टू डिवाइड दिस लाइन इन अ सेम नंबर ऑफ पार्ट्स विच इज डिवाइडेड हियर इन दिस सर्कल इन दिस केस वी हैव डिवाइडेड इनटू एट इक्वल पार्ट्स सो यू हैव टू डिवाइड दिस लाइन इनटू एट इक्वल पार्ट्स सो इफ वी कंसीडर 157 डिवाइड बाय 8 व्हिच इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू मेजर ऑन द स्केल सो यू हैव टू यूज द डिफरेंट मेथड सो आई एम गोइंग टू यूज 160 Uh, mm because it's very easily can be divided with the 2 cm each so draw a line uh, at a, uh, at any random angle at 160 so this length is a 160 mm and divided into 8 equal parts with the 2 cm each division now transfer this point with this corner you can directly uh, draw a point you don't need to draw these lines as well because this is not an important one we are interested into dividing the line so this is only construction part so we have successfully divide uh this part into eight equal parts like this now uh, draw a vertical lines from each and every parts so this parts represent this is one this is the uh, a part this is a a part capital a this is a b c d e f g and h and this is a again because once you uh, close the surface uh, a to a will be joined with each other so this is a starting point is a as well and end point is also an a point now transfer all the points uh, draw by vertical draw vertical lines draw it very light because this line is not a final line you have to construct it again whole uh, sectional development so at that time we will draw a thick line so this point is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and again 1 so this is the development of normal cylinder but we are interested in a sectional part so you have to transfer this sectional point on the surface so just draw a parallel lines or a horizontal line passing from this sectional point and transfer it to the our development of cylinder draw very thin line because uh, uh, in uh, next stage you are going to develop a different lines which will be confusing so just draw a thin lines passing from this sectional points and draw it draw it throughout like this so once you transfer the points you have to find out the intersecting points so let's say point number 1 dash is on the line of a dash and 1 dash so this is a a dash 1 dash line so your 1 dash point is here and here as well so you got your first point let's assume this is a p point okay p1 p2 p3 something like that so because 1 2 3 are already used so this point is my p1 and this is also my p1 now about p2 p2 is on the line of b dash and 2 dash that means b and 2 so b and 2 so this point is p2 point about p3 point p3 point is on the line of c and 3 so c and 3 so this point is your p3 p4 is on 4 and d so 4 d line so this point is 